Alright, thank you so much. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a, uh, protest song, I suppose. And, uh, this is a good place to start, you know, one of the most liberal places in the, in the country. But I think it's really time that we, as, I don't know, I don't want to speak for you guys, but I know I can speak for some of you, just because I can. I would say that for those of you here that are part of the progressive part of, of this government, this uh, society, I think we have to. I think we have to figure out whatever those the the creeps in the in the Tea Party vibe, how they managed to to pull everything so far away from the center into complete madness. Because I just gotta say, like. Uh, as much as I love our President Obama, he has pretty much let me down on every single thing that he said he's going to do. And so I think it's time, whatever their tactics are, I think we need to start employing those tactics. And I would point, I would point to the, the most uh, sort of uh, serious things that I feel like he, he didn't live up to. Guantanamo Bay, should we talk about that? Are you allowed to hold human beings forever without charging them for a crime? I don't think you are. I don't give a fuck what country or how, how rich you think you are. I don't think you're allowed just to imprison people forever, indefinitely, without giving them any kind of anything, which is exactly what we're doing. And I also think that uh, Mr. Uh, Private Manning should be set free and we should throw him a fucking parade for telling us what our government's doing. But instead, he's chained like an animal in a fucking basement somewhere in Virginia, where the fuck ever they have him. And that's all happening under Mr. Obama's watch. And so I think it's time that whatever poll you guys have, I know there's some rich motherfuckers in this town that give to Democrats. So whatever poll you have, because I don't got that much money, but I know like Silicon Valley, all that dope shit. Whatever rich people are sitting in here that give to those people, which I know you're here. I think we have, we have to hold him and all of them accountable for what we elected them to do. Because it's just getting, like, I can't deal with how fucking embarrassing and depressing and horrible it's getting. So please, whatever we can do, I think we should do it. Sorry to be long-winded about this, but we have three, we have three, at least three or four wars going on right now. We have no money in this country, but yet we can find money to like blow up and rebuild countries all around the world, which is so crazy. I feel like this is just practical. You know, everyone's gonna be like, oh fuck you, he's just like a dumb fucking guitar guy. But I feel like this is the most like basic common sense shit that's ever been. How can, you, how can you spend trillions of dollars on war and then cut, you know, cut, cut healthcare, cut, you know, my grandmother's fucking prescription pills and some poor kid in North Vermont going to Head Start or whatever. It's, like, it's completely ridiculous. You guys know what I'm talking about. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, let's try to find the practical ways because me up here isn't going to do anything talking about it, but I know that there's some rich fucking Silicon Valley joints up in this piece. Next time you're sitting there with the, the big wigs, you tell them really what you want to happen and be as brutal as the fucking Tea Party. That's all I'm saying. Love you guys.